Hello, this is Scott Thorley with Automotive Management Solutions, and I'd like to show you a quick video on how to create a ticket in Protractor. I'm starting off on the Protractor prioritization screen where I can see my work in progress. Up at the top, I have a new work order button, and I can actually pick a canned work order to automatically start it with an oil change or a check engine light or a tire quote. In this case, I'm just going to open a generic new work order. The first thing that pops up is to ask you what services the customer comes in for, because normally when the customer walks in and up to your counter, he's ready to tell you what he needs as opposed to his name. But I can always jump and do his name first if I wanted to. In this case, he wants an oil change. I'm going to quickly grab my conventional oil change, and note when I click on that, it pops up a window that says, do I also want to add an inspection, and do I also want to upsell him to a blended or a synthetic oil change. In this case, I'm going to add the 30-point inspection. At this point, this is all the customer is looking for. I go to the next screen, and I want to find the customer in his vehicle. I can put in a phone number, and it uses a white page's search to try to find that information. And here's my address. I can edit that customer. I can add an email address or any other information I needed. And then I'm going to select a service item. In this case, I'm going to add a new vehicle, and it uses the Carfax lookup that people are familiar with, and this is a 2005 Acura MDX. Now that I've got the customer and vehicle, it's going to show if I have any deferred work. Then I'm able to look up a uh, OEM service interval if I'd like to. And finally, what kind of reminder items do I want to remind this customer about? In this case, if this customer hasn't been in before, I want to add a basic maintenance group to remind them of oil and filter service and tire rotation. And here I could customize it per customer if they decide they want a different interval. Okay, now the ticket is ready. Now notice first thing that pops up is the information on the capacity and viscosity for this vehicle. If you'll notice, my conventional oil change job comes with a default of five quarts of oil and no viscosity information. When I click OK on this pop-up window, notice now it's, it calls out that the engine oil is 5W20 and it's four and a half quarts of oil. It also does a smart package pricing where this package is $29.95 even though I'm less than five quarts, the price doesn't go down. But if this vehicle were to have six quarts, it would charge the extra $3 for the additional quart of oil. Now in this case, my engine oil is going to come from my inventory, so I'm going to right click and do an inventory lookup, search for engine oil, I'm going to pull my 5W20 and draw it from my inventory. And now that this is all in black, I know that it's been completely sourced. The oil filter is in magenta. That means it has not been sourced yet. I'm going to click on it, and I could right-click and do a catalog lookup, or I can go to the top and do a catalog lookup up here. This is basically an Epicor lookup, so I'm calling out to the Epicor catalog to my supplier to see what part number is available. I can double-click to see a picture of the oil filter. And if that's the correct one, I can choose it and apply to put that on the ticket. Now this part has been looked up, but has not been ordered yet. I can go to the Purchases tab, highlight that oil filter, and notice it has three categories, to be ordered, order confirmed, and order received. I'm going to place the order for that part. Confirmation that the order has been placed, and now that part is ordered. Confirmed. Now on the work order, the description is now in black, but the one unit in, is in magenta. That means it's been ordered, but has not yet been received. Now I can go back and receive that item, and I can adjust the cost at this point. And now that part has been received. Now the line on the work order is all in black, and I'm ready to do this oil change job. Now I also put an inspection on this ticket. Let's look at the inspection. Now 
on the inspection, this is something that a tech would log in and they would see this inspection on the ticket and they could perform this inspection, checking off the items that are okay, making any uh, suggested items or any comments. Let me show you specifically, let's say the cabin air filter needs to be replaced. If the tech clicks on the red, you have the option to make notes and you can add a service package directly from the inspection. Now note that since I was on the cabin air filter line, the very first item is cabin air filter. So I don't have to search for it. It's right there and I can add that to the ticket. It has a symbol over here to let me know that a service package has been added to remedy that item. If I go back to the work order, you now see the cabin air filter on here. Once again, I'm gonna go back to the catalog lookup and now it's gonna go through each of those items. First, it's gonna look up the labor I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the ticket. Now it's looking up the cabin air filter part. And go ahead and order that. And once again, we could go through the process to order and receive the cabin air filter. You can also do a shortcut by just receiving that item if you've already gotten it. And now that job is also ready to go. Now the work order has been completed. We can go ahead and post this work order. We can enter the mileage. It tells me when this vehicle is due for its next appointment, which I can schedule now or not as you choose. I can pick the payment method. And then finally, I can choose to print and or email the final ticket. And I can also choose to print this invoice with the deferred work, with inspection results, a uh, number of different options for how you want to print out that copy for the customer. And as simple as that, I created a new ticket and finalized it in Protractor. Thank you.